हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन आवर बी एम एस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज रिलेटेड टू स्टेटिस्टिक्स कलेक्टर एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर ईच फंक्शंस व्हाट आर द स्पेसिफिकेशंस बीन यूज्ड फॉर एंड मल्टीपल स्टफ्स एंड देन वी विल बी क्लोजिंग आवर वीडियो थ्री for statistics collector we have already created video 1 and video 2 on how to create a statistics collector and how to convert it into the graphs and make it usable so that is the video we have already created if you haven't watched that video you could purchase our premium subscription login into our beaverchannel.com there you will get it at the training classes so let us begin our video 3 on statistics collector so i'll just open the statistics collector we have created for our video 2 that was part serviced at processor now what we are going to do is we are just going to understand the importance significance and the use of each of the properties and the significance of their labels now let us understand we have already seen these two things that listen to the object and listen to the object by requirement in our previous video so let us understand what is create a timer event so let us look at this if you look at this property you would see that the first time and the repeat interval is mentioned what does this event mean is that you will get the value to your row or you will be fetching the details for particular interval of time set of interval so basically zero is your first time and then the interval will be after every 10 units you can change that then the tick pattern if you could look at is tick on the first time and with the repeat interval of 10 units so this is the tick pattern so basically this is the timer event if you have been using the flexim you might also know the user event we have in the flexim it is similar to this event which we have but this event is specially for statistics collector which is inside that then the additional labels which you see which is available for any of the event this additional label you can put in to the event been generated in the statistics collector so when you add this add the label to this event you can add the label for all the events and then you need to put what is the label name and then what is the label value this is about added in order to get access to this training module you need to come to beaverchannel.com and in beaverchannel.com in the simulation tab we are going to have in the subscription plans for this premium training classes you need to purchase the subscription for your requirement you can purchase it for a month you can purchase it for 3 months you can purchase it for a year here are the benefits which you will be getting by purchasing this subscription so go ahead and purchase a subscription once you have purchased the subscription you will get access to this training module and other all premium training content modules once you have subscribed to the model you will get the access to the training class page and once you get the access to the training class you will be able to get access to the training modules you will be get access to featured program you will be getting access to uh, the assessments 3ds model downloads and lot many more so do not forget to purchase a subscription at our simulation tab in beaverchannel.com we are eagerly waiting for you to join us on a journey of education and learning simulation so stay tuned with us 